name is Wendy Swanepoel and I'm 41 years old. I have two children, uh, aged 9 and 12. And um, currently my husband and I have our own business, which we started last year, May. It was all very sudden, the actual discovery of the lump. Um, so I found, I felt a lump on my breast and I kept saying to my husband, can you feel it on the other side, you know, because they always say check on the other side and yes, and it was a bit sore. So um, straight away, almost the next day, I went for a biopsy. And um, they did the biopsy um, on the Wednesday and on the Monday, um, my doctor phoned me and I went into two rooms and uh, that's when she said to me, sure, you've got breast cancer. It was just like shock, you know, and disbelief because you think it can't happen to me. I'm too young, I'm too healthy, I'm too fit. You know, it always happens to someone else. I got sent to a specialist. So on the Monday I was diagnosed with the cancer and I uh, saw the specialist the next day and on the Friday, that Friday, I went to surgery to have it removed. Um, which, an amazing Dr. Rogeli, uh, he, he luckily was able to just remove the lump. Um, they did checks and they did tests and all around it and everything was clear. So it was a very small uh, tumor, about the size of a marble actually. But the reason I've had to go through all the chemo and radiation and Herceptin and Hormone replacement is because it's a very aggressive cancer that I have. Um, it's called the HER2 positive cancer, which although they say I'm clear, they don't know if it's anywhere else in my body. Um, so that's why I've had to have the 12 weeks of chemo. It's more of a precaution to make sure that it's no little cells have gotten loose and spread all over my body. And then the radiation is obviously just localized for the area. And then after that, while well, I'm on a Herceptin, which is basically a chemo specifically for um, breast, breast cancer. You know, my, my gran, my dad's mom, she died of throat cancer. Um, and I'm, I don't, we don't know if, you know, back in those days, they didn't really do the thorough checks that they do nowadays. So we don't know if she had it somewhere else and it developed into that, but no immediate family or anything like that. But basically, I'm the first one in my whole family. The plan that I was on um, didn't cover, it doesn't cover everything. Um, the costs are so great. You've just got no idea how you look at the tests and you get the claims coming through on your email and you're like, well, how can these things be so expensive? When I got diagnosed, um, I was very fortunate that I realized she was, you know, I've actually got a little little nest egg there that'll help me a lot. Um, the people there, absolutely incredible. You know, when I phoned, everyone's very sympathetic and very caring and helped me straight away. I mean, I think the, the payout that I got was within two, three weeks, I got a very surprised phone call from yourself and I was, uh, they said to me a package was arriving and you know, people think, oh, okay, what's well, going to be like, I don't know, a little something, but it was an amazing box full of goodies. I was just absolutely blown away at the thoughtfulness and the caring and it's just everything that you kind of think, you know, that actually care, that actually don't just say, oh, well, there's your policy, here's your money, off you go and just get better. You know, I've had follow-up phone calls from everyone. I've had amazing package that arrived that it just so many goodies. It was just incredible. A lot of, a lot of people um, say that they'll help and whatever, accept people's help. You know, everyone says, don't try and just take it all on, on your, by yourself. It's not going to, you think you can do it, but you actually can't. You actually really just need some support, whichever support ways you can get, whether it be a group or family or friends. Um, when a friend does say, you know, how can I help you? Say to them, please bring me a meal. I'd, a friend's bringing me a meal on the day of my, of my chemo for 12 weeks. So accept people's help. And it's, it's okay to cry and it's okay to accept the help and just do your checks. <laughs> I know we all think we're paranoid and we're going to the doctor for something so silly, but you know what? Just rather spend that little bit of money at the doctor and know that you're fine. 